Hello, it's good to see you. Today we are out here looking for cicada shells. Now if you don't know what that is, I'm going to show you and we're going to collect them in my little uh, grapefruit bowl. We're just going to set this down. Now I came out here earlier to mow. I'm out here mowing. See, that's I've mowed part of it already. Doesn't that look nice? Ignore that bare spot. I don't like that. But I noticed while I was out here that there are cicada shells out here. And I'm going to show you one. Here's one right here. Now what happens is the cicada spends most of its life underground. And once they have reached maturity, they climb. They come up out of the ground. Usually you'll find a little hole like under this brick right here. you find a little hole. Here's another one like that. Now I can't guarantee that they're all from cicadas, but um, and people some people pronounce it differently around here. It's either cicada or cicada, um, and they come up out of the ground, and usually they'll climb up on something like this fence here or a tree. They climb up, 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 up. This one, for example, made it this far, and then you'll see a, a like a split in the outside part of the shell. Now that's where they came out of the shell. They have wings and they come out and they're very wet and very vulnerable when they first come out. And they have to dry. They like to be in a sunny spot where they can dry. Now this is just a shell. There's nothing in here. I'm not hurting anything. But here's what the shell, here's what the shell looks like. And you'll notice it has these little these are sharp, actually, these little things, because that's what it, that's what it holds on to, uh, the wood with, are those little, little, like, little talons on, on the ends of the little legs there. So that's, that's a cicada shell. There. Pretty cool. Let's see if we can find any more. We'll go on a cicada shell hunt. Now here's a good spot right here. Yeah, I know we just passed one. I put my bowl here. Put my shell. Put my shell in it. Look at all these holes in the ground. These weren't here last week. Look, here's one right here. We just saw this one. He didn't make it very far. He just he went up about a foot, and then he uh, he stopped and and again it's just an empty shell. There's nothing in there. Oh, focus. Focus. There we go. Well, it's wanting to focus on the ground. Um, but it's just an empty shell. You can see his little face. It's blurry like a UFO video. <laughs> There's his little face. See? You can see where his eyes were. And again, you see that split in the top. That's where he came out of the shell. His little legs under there and uh, I don't hear any cicadas this evening usually you can hear them up in the trees they they sing to one another and some years we have a lot of cicadas other years we don't have many I have not seen many so far this year but it's only it's the end of July so it's a little early look at that which is a bunch of them over here one two three four just right here in this little area they didn't even bother climbing up on the fence. They said, screw that, we're just coming out here. And they, they kind of they kind of stick to your <laughs> to your finger like that. So there's one. I used to love to collect these when I was a kid. Not really much you can do with them, but I would I would collect them. There was this one dogwood tree that they loved to climb up. And I would check the dogwood tree, and you would find just dozens of them on the tree. And there's another one. Some of them are a little bit bigger than others. I gotta go get some. The mosquitoes are trying to get me. I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, I got my bug spray. The mosquitoes are bad this evening. So look, look how many we already have. How many do we have in here? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six six of those little guys and again they're just they're just empty shells there's nothing in there but yeah you can see all the the little holes 
where they came up out of the ground. Let's look over here in the mulch and see if we can find any more. Mm. Oh, there's one. Right there. Here's one. Right there. My air conditioner is kicked on. I'm sorry. <laughs> so here's one. And there's another one in there. Look at that. So two more. Let's see. There's, I see one. If I can back out from under here. There's one. Right there. Here's a cicada. A cicada shell. This tree's trying to attack me. So here we have three more. <laughs> it's like the creepiest cereal you ever saw. <laughs> oh, there's one way up under there. Can I get it? This bush is in the way. Right there. Oh, and another one, too. There's two more. There's a whole nest of them under here. And there's one. Right there. Another one. We got a whole pile of them. Look at all that. <clears throat> so yeah, I just wanted to show you that. That was pretty cool. Look at that. A whole nest of cicada shells. <laughs> oh wait, I see another one. It's like a ghoulish Easter egg hunt. Look at that one. It's like he's... It's like he's looking at us. So you just sort of jiggle them a little and they fall off. Cute. You see they have great big eyes. <clears throat> and digging claws. Because they spend most of their life underground. Really, <clears throat> the shortest part of their life they spend above ground. As the flying cicadas that we see. And they're, they're pretty big. And they, they don't live long above ground. They live basically long enough to mate and lay eggs and die. And that's about it. That's all they do. And then later on this summer, you'll see a lot of dead cicadas everywhere. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. I didn't know if you'd ever seen little cicada shells, but there's some for you. That was a nice little collection right there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that you are having a great day. And I will see you again soon. I'm going to get back to mowing. Bye.